So I am going to speak about a novel therapeutic approach that we have identified and worked on for the past uh, 10 years. Uh, we discovered that a small molecule um, inhibitor of a specific kinase, PI3 kinase gamma, is an uh, effective uh, myeloid targeting agent that can boost uh, the uh, recruitment of T cells and activation of T cells in tumors. And I will present uh, the basic research findings as well as the latest uh, phase two clinical trial results that demonstrate a doubling of uh, overall survival in cancer patients. Let me first uh, summarize uh, what our basic findings were in 2011. A uh, postdoctoral fellow in my lab, Dr. Michael Schmidt, who's now a chair of his department at the University of Liverpool, identified PI3 kinase gamma as a macrophage myeloid cell specific kinase that regulates um, the recruitment of myeloid cells into tumors. By inhibiting that kinase, we showed that we could uh, increase. Uh, the anti-tumor efficacy of uh, therapeutics. So uh, following up later by another postdoctoral fellow, Megan Kanita, uh, we discovered that this uh, molecule, PI3 kinase gamma, drives macrophage and myeloid cell-mediated immune suppression, and that by inhibiting it, we uh, allowed macrophages and other myeloid cells to become more uh, pro-inflammatory, thereby recruiting T cells and activating T cells and leading to tumor suppression. Uh, Megan Kanita showed in, uh, in studies that were published in Nature in 2016 that combination therapy with checkpoint inhibitors and PI3 kinase gamma inhibitors could completely eradicate certain tumors. Uh, so we... Um, then worked with Infinity Pharmaceuticals of Cambridge, Massachusetts, as they developed a PI3 kinase gamma selective small molecule inhibitor. And then they have, uh, in the, in, since that time, uh, conducted uh, phase one trials, which included biomarker studies that we performed at UCSD that documented this same uh, boosting of immune response in patients. And then they have gone on to perform three phase two clinical trials, uh, two in uh, triple negative breast cancer and one in urothelial cancer. The trial in urothelial cancer that I will discuss is was uh, done in um, treatment resistant patients, so uh, second line therapy uh, with uh, checkpoint inhibitor nivolumab, anti-PD-1. And there, uh, they've observed a, a doubling of overall survival in patients treated with their pediatric kinase gamma inhibitor and anti pd one um, Additionally, they conducted a trial in triple negative breast cancer combining anti pd l one and pediatric kinase gamma inhibitor, again, Elisib, and uh, nabpaclitaxel, uh, abraxane, in triple negative breast cancer patients. And they also have this, the follow up of this study is still ongoing, but they have also observed uh, some, a, a strong uh, enhancement of overall survival and 90% uh, tumor regressions or tumor uh, stasis in um, PDL1 positive and PDL1 negative patients. Uh, and so follow-up on that study is still ongoing, but they are observing uh, an increase in overall survival. Uh, the company is currently um, planning their phase three registration trial strategies. Uh, and so this is going to be um, one of the earliest uh, myeloid-targeted therapies um, to reach phase three. Uh, in the past, we've had... Um, CSF1R inhibitors, which have been approved for one kind of cancer, but uh, unfortunately were, did not show the strong efficacy that was predicted uh, in the past. And then also uh, anti-CD40 agonists, um, which also have not yet shown the, the predicted uh, benefit. And so um, 
we are hopeful that the pediatric kinase gamma inhibitor will continue to show this strong uh, benefit for patients when combined with other therapeutics.